Okay, uh, we're going to see what is the Joule effect and how to do an experiment that helps you test the Joule effect. Okay, the Joule effect is mm, a very good idea that links the electricity with the thermodynamics. So, I feel that the Joule effect is like a very important uh, standard for physics because it helps you to understand how you can use electricity in other branches. So what is the, mm, the main idea of the Joule effect? The main idea of the Joule effect is that if you connected a resistance, so you can see the resistance, you can see the resistance, sorry, no? The path didn't work. Uh, if you connect a resistance to a source of voltage, so uh, by Ohm's law or by electricity, you're going to have a, sh a circuit, and with the circuit, uh, we're going to have an electric current. Okay. So let's imagine that we're measuring the electric current. Uh, remember that the electric current is measured with amperes. And we have measured the resistance that it's in ohms. Okay, and what it's found in the Joule effect is that this resistance is going to heat. Okay, it's going to be heated because of the current that it that crosses the resistance. But the cool part of the Joule effect is that we have an expression, a relation that links the heat that you have here due to the resistance and the current and the electric resistance. So we're linking thermodynamics with uh, electricity. What is this expression? Is that the power it's equal to I squared times R. Okay? This is the idea of the Joule effect. The power is proportional to the square of the current and directly um, um, proportional to the resistance. Okay? So let's imagine that this power is heat, right? But Power is energy in the unit of time, so it will be the heat in some time. And that is the Joule effect expression. Okay, so what do you think is the question or the research question that could be solved by using the Joule effect. And what do you think will be the hypothesis for this research question that could be explained using the Joule effect? So this is my proposal for you, for you to write a problem and a hypothesis about the Joule effect. What would be the research question or the problem that is solved using Joule effect and obviously the hypothesis using Joule effect? That's the first part. So think a little bit, see how to do it, see how to thinking, because now we're going to move to the experiment. How to do the experiment to test the Joule effect, you know? So imagine that you have a battery, so you can see the battery here. We connect the battery to an ammeter. Remember that ammeters goes in series. Then we're going to the resistance. You have measured the resistance before. And you put the resistance in some solid or liquid in a way that we're going to measure the changes of temperature in the liquid or the solid. Okay? And finally, 
So we set the thermometer, okay, this is a thermometer, to measure the change of temperature. So look at that with the ammeter, we can measure the current. With the resist with the ammeter, we can measure the resistance. And why do you need a thermometer? You need a thermometer because you can measure the heat by using the mass of the object or the liquid times the specific heat that is a constant depending on the object times the change of temperature this is the way to determine the heat okay and the power should be just heat divided time right that will be the power that should be I squared R. So what we can measure is just the time that takes to heat the solid or the liquid some, um, some degrees, okay? So we can use like a control, one centigrade degree. How long does it take to increase the temperature for one centigrade degree? And measuring that, you can have the opportunity to measure the Joule effect. So now, with this video, I hope that you understand what is the Joule effect and what is the experiment you can perform in order to, guide, to determine the Joule effect. Okay? See you in the next video. Ask. Let me know what you need to know, no problem, but this is pretty cool because then we link thermodynamics with electricity. See you in the next video. Goodbye.